finish the conversation about ADD right quick. Now, what were you saying about ADD, Dr. Brower? Well, the problem is most people are giving their kids Ritalin, which is a class 2 drug in the same category with morphine and opium. And the sad part about this is the majority of these children don't even have a true biochemical brain dysfunction. They have a dietary or behavioral management problem. And we've had 100% success in working with these children in my office that have been diagnosed with ADD without the use of the drug Ritalin, which, by the way, is just too strong for most kids. Wow. And so it's the same thing, basically. We just have so many problems with so many kids in this country with this condition that they're finding a quick, a quick answer, basically, to go ahead and give these keep kids these, this drug, which is like cocaine. And it's, uh, to me, I think it sends the wrong message to these kids. And we have a much higher increase of risks of these children continuing to use different types of drugs after they've gotten off the riddle. And I mean, it only makes sense that we've had a what 100% increase in illegal drug use in children in the past five years in this country. Wow. And I think a lot of it's because we're okaying the use of drugs like Ritalin and making it so easy easy for these children to obtain these drugs. So, Dr. Brower, are you saying, in essence, that a lot of that could be alleviated simply by the diet? A lot of people are taking the Ritalin, but they aren't changing their diets. Uh, Lori, we've had 100% success in my office working with children and their parents who've been diagnosed with ADD when they follow our program without the use of the drug Ritalin. Okay. Mm. Now, the top 10 foods never to eat. Can you run them down for us? Sure. The first one on the list is from the Livingston Wheeler Foundation. They're a cancer clinic in Southern California, and they tell you that if you eat certain types of food, that it makes it literally impossible to recover from the cancer. Mm. Now, one of the foods they tell you never to eat are the high-fat luncheon meats. I include bacon, sausage, ham, pepperoni, and hot dogs in that category. Right. And, in fact, it's kind of interesting. At the University of Southern California a couple of years ago, they did a study that said that children who eat just three hot dogs a week have nine times the risk of leukemia mm. as children who do not. And that's a kind of an amazing study when you stop and think about it because, you know, there are a lot of kids out there eating hot dogs and the leading cause of death in kids is cancer mm. and the leading type of death is leukemia. And so I really think that if we have an organization like the University of Southern California telling us to keep these kids off this junk, I think we need to do it. But the most important thing is look at it this way. In many cases, there's actually a certain percentage of rat hair in sausage meats and hot dogs. And, and so what we, we know that basically rats don't get haircuts. So we know that basically uh, the whole rat falls into the grinding vat. So the next time you order a corn dog or a hot dog, you may as well order a rat on a stick. It's about the oh same my thing. Gosh. And you say no lunch meat either. That's correct. No. It was, it's just not healthy. If you're going to get fresh turkey or something like that and slice it, have deli slices, I don't have a problem with that. But, you know, you just, or fresh beef even, that's okay. But you just really need to stay away from all of the, uh, all of the junk and all the processed and prepared meats. They're, just, they're, not, they're, they're, they're just not healthy for you. Okay, what are the other foods? Dr. Number two on those is shellfish. That includes lobster, shrimp, oyster, prawns, scallops, crabs, and clams. Uh, just avoid it. I mean, look at it this way. A lobster is an arthropod. A cockroach is an arthropod. All a lobster is a giant cockroach. Oh, my, are you saying a lobster is like eating? a cockroach. That's exactly right. Oh, my God. Right, a scavenger, right? <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. And shrimp as well. Shrimp as well. Shrimp too. Bacon, uh, bacon, basically lobster, shrimp, oyster, prawns, scallops, crabs, clams, all of that needs to be avoided. Uh, grouper, red snapper, orange, roughy salmon are good fish. Just stay away from the ones that crawl around on the bottom and, and just, they, they, they're, they're disgusting. You shouldn't eat those things. They like catfish. That's, the catfish is nasty. They eat their own um, feces. Is, is that correct too? Well, they, I, I don't know about that. I've never watched them, but I'm sure they probably eat the feces of other lobsters and the sad part about this is, is that that's what they do that there's rotting decaying matter on the bottom of the ocean that's what they're there for god put them there as a as a scavenger feeder right that's what they're there for they're not there to you know, basically they're little septic tanks is what they are mm. okay what else dr <laughs> number three are margarine products hydrogenated oils crisco peanut butter or crisco uh, Crisco shortening, never use that. Never use vegetable shortening. Never use lard. Never use peanut butter like Jif or Skippy because it contains hydrogenated oil, which increases the risks of heart disease and cancer. Okay, hold on, Dr. Brewer. You're saying no peanut butter. Now, people consider peanut butter very healthy. Right. Well, the thing about it is no Jif or Skippy. Now, if you get natural peanut butter, like fresh ground peanuts in the grocery store, mm. that's fine. Okay. But you want to stay away from the stuff that has the sugar and the hydrogenated oil in it. Very bad. Number four is NutraSweet aspartame or equal to diet sodas. In fact, a lot of folks are drinking diet sodas all over the country. And the sad part about it is is that they've been linked conclusively now by Dr. John Olney because of the NutraSweet to brain tumors and brain cancer. Mm -hmm. And because the 10% per of the molecular structure of NutraSweet is methanol or methyl alcohol, also known as wood alcohol, also used as paint thinner. This is what's in NutraSweet. What? And when you ingest paint thinner in any concentrations, it is a neurological poison, which cannot be made non-poisonous. And so you really need to avoid it. Side effects include severe headaches, confusion, memory loss, depression, dizziness, insomnia.
apnea, impaired vision, even blindness. So, Dr. Brewer, if you say if you want to drink a soda, you suggest drinking one with sugar in it versus a diet one? Well, a lot of people can't do that, Lori, because they have a blood sugar imbalance such as hypoglycemia or diabetes. I recommend them drinking water rather than any of that stuff. Okay. Or they can drink, there are a lot of different herbal teas. One is called Ice Delight, which actually tastes good. Most herbal teas are terrible, but this one actually tastes good. And there are a lot of things that you can drink other than drinking sodas, period. And if, plus, you got to remember, a regular soda has 12 teaspoons of sugar in it. Right. Mm. And so if per, I, I know people who drink a liter of that stuff a day, which is like 60, 70 mm. teaspoons of sugar. It's amazing what people put into their bodies and how much of it they put into their bodies. Mm. Okay, what else, Dr. Brown? Uh, number five is the junk food category. It's the Twinkies and the Ding Dongs and the Cupcakes. Basically, it's in cellophane. Don't give it to your kids and don't eat it yourself. Don't buy stuff out of vending machines unless they're like peanuts or something like that. It's the only safe in a vending machine. Let me give you some good news. This is a letter that had come in from Judy. She writes in and tells us, Dear Dr. Brower, I'm just writing to give you a praise report. Since I started your Eat, Drink, and Be Healthy program one and a half years ago, I've lost 50 pounds, mm. and I've gone from a size 11 to a size 5. But the weight loss is secondary to how I feel. When I started your program, I was always dragging, and the mood swings were terrible. I now have tremendous energy, and I feel great all of the time. My husband has also lost weight and feels great. Our children have gone from over $2,000 per year in medical bills to being totally healthy mm. with zero medical expenses. Interestingly enough, our total food budget has gone down by almost 30%. It's amazing. We feel and look great, and we're saving money. Guys, we have a program called Eat, Drink, and Be Healthy. Is it okay if I give out an 800 number real yes, quick? Yes, go right ahead. If folks would like to order our program, it's eight audio cassette tapes and a cookbook, and it also takes you through a systematic process on lowering blood pressure, cholesterol, triglycerides, and blood sugar levels. And for the first 15 folks that call in and order the program this morning, we're going to include with the program the special reports that we have on high blood pressure, depression, diabetes, cancer, attention deficit disorder telling you exactly what to do for your kids without the use of the drug Ritalin, prostate impotency, infertility problems, and, men, and diet sweeteners, you can give us a call at 1-800-670-8776. That's 1-800-670-8776. Okay, uh, doctor, we're, we're kind of short on time, but could you give us the number one, what's the, the most important the foods that you say are the most dangerous? The first four, the Kevorkian and four, the ones we've already discussed, the high-fat lunch of meat, the shellfish, the margarine, and the NutraSweet need to be avoided at all costs. Those are our top four foods on our top ten list. Okay. Can you quickly just run through the, the, the rest of the list? I'll be happy to, Lori. Okay. Number six is Olestra, the new fake fat. Stay away from it. Seven is chlorinated water. Always make sure you filter your water before you drink it. Chlorine actually increases your risks of heart disease and increases your risks of cancer. Number eight are high-fat dairy products. Uh, dairy basically will make you fat if you're not careful. It'll make you gain a lot of weight really quickly. Number nine are caffeine products. If you're going to do caffeine, do it in moderation. And number ten are alcohol products. If you're going to drink, get a designated drug. Remember, there are all kinds of things you can do besides drink to reduce your risks of heart disease, and those are our top ten foods never to eat. Oh, well, thank good. you, Dr. Broy. You have shed some light. Oh, well, good. Thanks again. If you guys want, give us a call at 1-800-670-8776 to order the Eat, Drink, and Be Healthy program. The normal cost in that program, by the way, is $300, and we have it on special for Christmas for $89, which is a phenomenal value. It's less than most people spend that when they take the spend when they go take their family to dinner. Yes. And it's, it's an incredible way of teaching you how to eat right and buy foods and a lot of different medical reports, which teach you integrative medicine. Okay. Right. All right. Thank you, Doc. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Everybody stand around with their mouth open. No more. You know, you know, no more Oscar Mayer. You know what? Dairy dairy also sags your skin. It makes your skin sag. Right. That's a doctor putting it down, showing you uh, how to live to eat. Mm -hmm. How to eat to live. Eat yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to know what to eat now. And that's what I'm saying. I don't know what to eat now. <laughs> but you know, the program has been instituted since 1932. That's right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right, all right. The program But he said eating down. a lobster was like eating a cockroach. That's what I'm telling you. And also eating that pig is the same thing, man. It's eating a rat. It's eating but a rat. the rat here. Yeah. Now, now when you hear from another source, now we'll open up our eyes and now we'll take it for a gospel now. Revolutionary right. Monday. Bashing anybody over the head mm -mm. because we're all adults here. Right. And uh, everybody makes their own choices and their own decisions. But the only thing we try to do is we try to bring a little truth out and to make you become a little more aware of what you're putting into your body. Because like Lori Mack said yesterday, a lot of us eat just for taste. Mm -hmm. We don't eat for health consciousness. Mm -hmm. That's right. And coming up next hour, you know it's Comedy Zone Tuesday, right? Mm -hmm. That's so right. So coming up next hour, if you can tell uh, the best Chitlin story or your mm -hmm. relationship to Chitlins, you could win some tickets to the Comedy Zone tonight. Right. When I was three years old, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I remember my daddy running the backyard catching a hole. Right. A lot of times we just overdo it. <laughs> That's right. You don't need a holiday. Uh -huh. But you know <laughs> what? Mama. Are you talking about slow food? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, anyway, we'll get to that later. I know yeah, you're talking right, about right. too. All right? Yeah, no doubt. Okay. But I want to go back to the television thing. Sometimes what's on television can roll over into real life. Remember Jeannie Jones? Right. Right. Remember that show when uh, the two people that appeared on the show came home and then one brother killed him? Yeah, the show was, it was, um, cr it was crushes. If you had a crush on somebody and this guy had a crush on another guy. Right. And he didn't know that the person that had a crush on him was a guy. So he supposedly went home and killed him, you know, shot him because he was embarrassed that a guy had a crush on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens, man. That, that stuff is wild. Jenny Jones is still trying to get over that. And their family took her to court, right? Right, it sure mm -hmm. did. Right. And we want to know about some of the things that are happening to you out there. Road rage, uh, television, uh, you know, sports, if you're an athlete, whatever, man. Just call us, 570-WPT or 800-525-0098. That's right. And talk about some road rage. That's right. You ever been shot on a talk show? You know, call us up. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, in the political arena, let's talk about uh, what happened with Malachi Green. Right. You know, he, uh, he fought that brother over a disagreement. And it was just a meeting, you know, friendly. You think that pol political people are sensible, uh, well-mannered people. But he fought. It's a lot That's of that He got into a fight. And a lot of people say at the time that something in them just snaps. And that after it's over with, they wish they had not have done it. But what is there going on now to, pre to prevent us from acting on our instincts, to, to stop acting on emotions? And Tone, you said it's uh, got a lot to do with what we eat, huh? That's true. No That's true. That. That, is, that is a fact. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That is a fact. We're not eating according to our natural diet. We're eating according to someone else's diet. 813. That you're going to do it. That's right. You know, you can watch all the health and fitness shows you want to, but then you got it in your body. You can't refuse it, didn't seek it, didn't choose it, but it's up to me to use it. And it's up to you to use it. You must believe that it's possible for you to live your dreams. You must believe that there's more within you that could do you can do with you and make things happen in your life. Mm -hmm. There's a great, the future is for you to take advantage of. So what you must do is make a commitment to listen to positive every day. Mm -hmm. I want everybody to take this number. 1-888-266-8488. That's my toll-free number. I pay for the call. It's a free minute of motivation. We want to help people to get some positive things in them. 1-888-266-8488. 1-888-266-8488. And if you're on the web, you can call my website up on www.willyjolly.com. That's W-I-L-L-I-E-J-O-L-L-E-Y. And then go to your local bookstore. Say, I want Willie Jolly's book. It only takes a minute to change your life at Target, Kmart, Walmart, all of the major bookstores. And say, I just want a book that will help me to do more and make 1998 the best year that I've ever had. Right. Mm -hmm. We want to help people to do that and want to help people to take it to another level. Hey, we got a phone call here. All right, uh, very good. Let's see what they're talking about. Hello, Power 98. Hi, how you doing? Doing all right. Good. I wanted to know if Mr. Jolly's going to be signing his book anywhere in Charlotte today. Um, no, I'm not planning to. I, I'm just here for a speech at a, at, for a convention, and unfortunately I haven't had the, uh, the record company, I mean the bookstore, uh, book company did not hook up a book signing. But if you call my office and uh, call that 888 number, you can get a free minute of motivation, plus tap into the end of, into my office and We'll get a uh, book signed to you, and uh, you can order one over the phone. Oh, great. Thank Fantastic. Uh-huh. Oh, bye-bye. Uh-huh. Right. Thank you. 809, 809. All right, then, now you're a human. Yes. We see that. And we, you, you're very motivational. But what do you do? I mean, you're human. I know there are times where you feel down. Yes. And you feel discouraged. What do you do to motivate yourself? Yes, I have, I have a, a very set, set system of uh, trying to change my life. One, I take time every day to think and pray. Every day. Every day. Make it, I'm thankful for every morning I wake up. Two, I think back on the things that I didn't like about where I was working, and I always remind myself I don't want to go back there. I never want to go back. And three, I decide every day where I'm going. I read my goals every day. You must have some goals. Everybody should have 50 things they want to do before they live, leave this planet. They should have things they want to achieve. And if you do that and you remind yourself, oh, here's where I'm going. My goal this year was to make $100,000 or $150,000 or $200,000, whatever it is. If you do that every day and write that down and say, here's my goal. And how am I going to get there? I've got to make calls. I've got to get on the phone. I've got to send out my resume. I've got to read more materials. I've got to work on me because you are what you are and where you are because of the choices that you make so you get focused on that and every day just start motivating yourself sometimes you got to encourage yourself what do you say to people who say i don't know what i want to do i'm just lost okay here's a quick solution to that many people say i i, I don't know I, i'm not sure what i want to do ask yourself this question and this is the way i did it and i did it six years ago say you went to the doctor today doctor said i got good news and bad news i'm gonna give you the bad news you got one year to live one year mm. you're out of here 
But the good news is anything you attempt, anything you try in the next year, you will achieve. It's impossible for you to fail. You have a very real in, rare illness. And anything you go after, you will achieve. But you must write it down and read it twice a day, every day for 30 days. I did that six years ago. I said, okay, if I only have a year to live, here's what I want to do. And I can't fail. I want to be a speaker. I want to speak to millions of people. I want to have my own syndicated radio show. I want to have television shows. I want to travel around the country. I want to have a luxury car. I want to have some money in the bank. And I wrote it down. I read it 30 days for 30 days twice a day. Six years later, most of those things have come true. The only thing now is I'm waiting for the luxury home. Mm -hmm. All right? You got that. You got that. You got that. That's coming, right? You got that. That's coming. You going to hang with us for a couple more minutes? A few more minutes. All right. All right. We might have some people call. Call in if you got a message. That's right. 570-WPEG.